Okay, welcome back to my channel. I am gonna do a chatty get ready with me on this look. I had a mascara fail. I tried a new mascara today that I was not a fan of, but I also am mostly just hanging out with you guys and chatting. So let's talk in the comments about some of the stuff that we talk about in this video with some hot goss. So if you wanna see how to get this look, which I do love, minus the mascara, keep watching. Bing. You guys are never gonna believe what happened to me this morning. I was trying to decide what I wanted to wear. Do you guys think about your outfits in advance or do you just like wake up and wear something one day? Memories of when I was a little kid and I would go and decide what I wanted to wear for school like the next day. So I kind of like to at least have an idea what I'm thinking about wearing. And I have some friends coming in town this weekend and so I was kind of thinking through outfits I might want to wear. I had this whole plan in my head. I was like, I'm gonna wear this one outfit, this like black set that I got in from Revolve and it's gonna be awesome. And I like knew exactly what it looked like in my head. It was like black set and then there was like some silver detailing on it. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be kind of fun. I'm going in with the hourglass vanish. And then this is Dibs Rose Gold Status Stick. It makes such a big difference under your foundation to give you that lip from within glow. This is in the color Golden Natural. I had the hardest time finding my shade in this, but that's what I'm wearing right now. I'm like half self tanned. Starting to come like mostly come off, but I wanna wait and tan tomorrow. So anyways, I had this whole idea in my head about what I wanted to wear this weekend and I was like, oh, it's gonna be perfect, it's this set. And I looked everywhere for it and I realized, and I thought I knew it was from Revolve in my head. I'm like, it's from Revolve. I look everywhere for it, it's nowhere to be found. I look in my Revolve order, it's nowhere to be found. I didn't order it, I dreamed it. I had a whole dream about this very specific outfit but I was really excited to wear it and I didn't even order it. It's not even a thing. It was very sad. I was like, well, okay. Well, now that I have no idea what I'm going to wear this weekend. I've also been trying to clean out my closet and be more intentional about certain things that I wear. Ooh, the breakout. Oh, right there. Let's do a little more. Um, and trying to see, trying to narrow it down and really see what I get the most wear out of. Like I know I love a blazer. I love denim, I love a blazer, a little bodysuit. There's some good basics. And then I am just have learned about myself over the years, things I will not really wear. So I'm trying to be a little bit more intentional about my shopping, but sad story. Okay, so I've been also loving this foundation brush by Hourglass. I've had this for ages. And just recently started using it again. So I'll just kind of Blend everything in with that, and then I'll still go in with the damp beauty blender and just melt it all into the skin. And right now I'm really going between either the Hourglass Concealer or the Tarte Shape Tape, but I'm feeling like a tart day today. So I did a Q&A, and I'm looking down here in a mirror, by the way, but I did a Q&A on my Instagram the other day, and it was kind of like a girl talk wine Q&A, and it was so fun because I feel like I just got to sit down and actually have a drink with you guys basically. So many of y'all said you went and poured drinks after work and you're like a teacher and you're like, I got my wine. And I actually ended up doing a lover boy because I realized I did not have wine. I need to go on a wine run, but we had a lot of good conversation and it just got me thinking about a lot of things. One of the top questions was about dating and just saying, I looked happy and am I enjoying single life? And the answer is yes, I am. Um, but a lot of you guys were asking about dates. Should I share things like dates or like getting ready for a date or makeup or stuff like that? Or what do we think? Stuff always makes me a little nervous, but let me know if you guys are interested. The other thing that we talked about a lot was like if there was one topic that you were tired of hearing people talk about, what would it be? And for me, it's definitely other people's physicality, like body weight, face, whatever it is. It's just, it's so strange to talk about how other people look all the time. And a lot of you guys seem to agree about that. Like if a woman gains five pounds, it's so natural and normal to fluctuate in your weight. Don't ask her if she's pregnant. I'm doing a little bit more coverage on the inside here. This concealer really just brightens everything up. I actually saw Tarte did like a little ad the other day and they showed how it covered up a tattoo, which is crazy. That's how you know this shit is good coverage. I've also been setting my under eyes instead of a sponge. Where's my brush? I've been using this little hourglass brush 
and I've been dipping into a powder and just like precisely setting it and I feel like my makeup's looking less cakey. But my brother comes in town today really briefly actually because it's his best friend's 30th birthday. So they're gonna do Mexico. I really need to prep, pluck my brows real quick. They're gonna go to Mexico, but he's coming in um, with his wife today and their dog, and they're dropping their dog off at my mom's house. So we're gonna be babysitting Tucker for the week and they will be in Mexico, but I'm glad they're coming in so I can see them a little bit. I'm going to take them to ABBA tonight, I think, and that's gonna be super fun. They're gonna hang out with Ken's and then when she goes to bed, she's gonna stay with my mom and we'll go. So a little Austin hangout. I love when people come in town and they get to take them out. Cause growing up, well A, like all these restaurants and stuff in Austin are so new. If you don't follow on Instagram, I have also been doing, sharing a bunch of different spots in Austin if you're coming to visit or something. So definitely follow along on Instagram, which is Courtney underscore Shields if you don't. But um, so many of the places that I go now weren't here, like weren't a thing back in the day. Spoiler alert. Um, I can't use a duo without smelling it. Like they smell so good. So a lot of it is new. So since my brother doesn't live here, there's still places that he doesn't really know, even though obviously we both grew up here. So it's fun to take him out and do things like that. But I was just on soft Congress if you're coming in town and it's such a fun spot. The hummus, I think it's the short rib hummus is incredible. Like every time I order it, I wish I would have ordered multiple of them because they're so good. And the atmosphere is really pretty. Is there a hair dangling from me? Um, I thought about this the other day, this is so random, but isn't it funny how when hair is like on your head or on your eyebrows, it's desirable, everybody wants it, and then it falls off onto the floor and it's like the grossest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> Everyone's like, ew, a hair, when really like five seconds ago it was very desirable or like something that people liked. Isn't that weird? Also in the Q&A box, a lot of you guys were asking me about friendships and how to make friends as an adult or what I thought embodied, like made up a good friendship and all that, and it got me thinking last night as well. For me, I think about this a lot, but I feel like the older you get, you kind of start to pare down in your life a little bit because the reality is we all don't have time, you know, to be an incredible friend to tons of people. And so I think it's good to start paring down who um, in your life is really a good friend to you in that way and vice versa. But I think some of the characteristics that make up a really good friendship are mutual respect and you can be different. Like Audrey is obviously one of my best friends and I feel like while we're very similar in certain things, like we like certain things and we like a lot of the same things like style and we, you know, all that type of stuff, but our actual personalities are very different, but we get along, like we get along so well. So I think it's just nice to have friends that are, you know, same but different, but also having mutual respect for each other. And more than that, even friends that are there for you or not more than that, but friends that are there for you in your highs and your lows. I think over time and throughout my life, there have been people who have had a really easy time being there for me in one or the other, but I find not often both, which I think is so interesting. Um, who are the friends that are there for you when you accomplish something really incredible at work or you have something that you want to celebrate? Like who is celebrating you alongside you? Who really wants you to win and who, who do you really want to see win? And then who is the one that picks you up off the bathroom floor when you're just having a terrible day? And sometimes, I've noticed over time that those people aren't the same. And so when you find a friendship where someone lifts you up when you really just need to get the fuck off your bathroom floor and then somebody also celebrates you and acknowledges you um, in those beautiful like celebratory mo moments in your life, like that to me is an incredible friendship when you really want someone to win and, and you're able to pick them up um, and celebrate them too. So I think those are probably some of the things I look for in friendships. And I think that over time, then you you learn, like it's cool to have some different interests too, or you can get inspired by your friends. Like for example, Audrey loves reading. And so it's not something that I did as much until recently. And then she inspires me to like go pick up a new book or to stay in and have that sort of like self-care routine because it's something she's good about going to bed early. So you can also let your friends inspire you in different ways. And I don't know. Um, which things she's picked up from me, but I'm sure certainly some. Okay. Your entire mood board for 2022. Your entire mood board? 
main character energy. Yeah, that's really good. We love main character energy. You are the main character of your life. Never forget that. It's so important. The past like two years have been such a shedding of living for other people. Like I don't even want to say like caring what other people think because I think like to a degree, yeah, you can have like that I don't give a fuck energy and like, but the bottom line is like the people in your life, like you want to care what those people think. You just don't want to care what the people that are irrelevant think. Um, or the people that have no sway in your life. Is that a brush hair or just a concealer spot? Like just concealer. Um, but I think moreover, it's just not letting those things define you and still living for you and doing what you know at the end of the day makes you happy. This is like a really sobering thought. And it's, I would say it's both like kind of sad and depressing and also um, just, oh my god, that's so much brow gel. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Ah! Um, okay. You know what? It's one of those things where you gotta roll it. Okay, clean spoolie. You know what? That's some fucking main character energy, Audrey. <laughs> I'm dying. This is why we can't have nice things. Okay. Yes. Success. Um, what was I just saying? It was really deep. It was really deep. Oh, if you die and you're at your funeral, like, what are people going to remember you for? Because that always is a sobering thought to me. Like, whenever I feel like I get too stuck on or, like, infatuated with or thinking about something that feels, like, so irrelevant, like, oh, I really want this stupid shit. Like, I really want this bag, but blah, blah, blah. It's like, who cares? Literally, who cares? Like, all this stuff is fun. Obviously, don't get me wrong. It's fun and it, you know, can spark little moments of fun and anything like an outfit that you love or makeup that makes you feel pretty is obviously always fun. But it's like, I, I just have really tried to have that perspective this year and think about like the things that actually matter and less about what other people think, the that all that type of shit, because it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. What do your people think that's different? Are you there for the people that love you, that are there for you, that, you know, that kind of shit is important. But aside from that, honestly, it doesn't really matter. That's why I think things like DMs and comments whenever people say something rude is just funny to me. Cause like, A, who cares? If you're, what you do does not affect someone. Like if you are not harming someone and like, being a shitty person, just let the person live, you know? But you learn to let it roll over time. Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like I keep wanting to get ready early in the day because I want to create content for you guys. And then by the end of the day, I'm like, shit, I have something to do and I need to get re-ready. So I've just been trying to do things that I think I can kind of go from day to night. And I really upped my skincare routine. Do you guys want to see a new skincare routine? Because I feel like I really added extra hydration because my skin has just been feeling so dry, which is honestly the worst feeling in the world. The other question I got um, was how to leave in an abusive relationship or a toxic relationship. And that was something I touched on last night with an analogy that I can share with you guys here. But um, a lot of people were like, wait, what? When are you talking about? And so I actually did a whole TikTok about it. If you're curious, you can go to my TikTok. She's Courtney.Shields. And I share a little bit about it there. Mm, there we go. So you guys can check that out. I opened up a little bit there and I've honestly just in general been having an enjoyable time hanging out with you guys on TikTok. It almost feels like the OG days where, same with YouTube, um, actually where there's less people. Obviously I'm super grateful for all the incredible people in the community on um, IG, but it's kind of nice just to be able to have like that more intimate community. And I feel like that's what TikTok and YouTube has kind of been. For the past couple of months so there's like so many videos over there if you guys like videos which i feel like you oh brush hair you probably do um since you're here and you should definitely go check out tiktok i talked about it more there but 
Um, I talk about my specific situation and red flags and things I experienced, but um, one of the analogies that I thought about yesterday when I was thinking about how to how to get out of that relationship, and first of all, I said this on TikTok, like I'm not a therapist, obviously. Uh, I'm a big advocate for therapy. I've been myself, and I highly suggest um, that to anyone who thinks that might be helpful, But um, which I feel like is honestly anyone who's breathing on the planet. But um, I... I kind of came up with this analogy last night and it was just that the person in the relationship, if you know it's toxic, think about that like a sinking ship. Like think about that like the Titanic, like it's going down and you can either choose to stay on that ship and go down with it or you can get off and swim and it's really, really, really scary and I know that because I've been there um, to, to get out of a situation like that. I think it's... I don't know. I think I was that person that was like, I don't get it. If a situation sucks, just leave. Like until I was in the situation, then you realize that is not an accurate depiction of how you feel in that situation and what the, I guess, like abuse and um, oftentimes like, you know, gaslighting and all the other things that come with that situation. It's just not like that. Like it's just not that simple. And so, um, I totally understand that because I have personally been there, but I think that when you think about this analogy, like you can either stay on the ship and sink or you can choose to get off and swim and you may not be able to see the shore in sight yet and the water may be freezing cold, but you still just get off and swim because you will find the shore and even though it's scary, you give yourself that chance, like think of the shore as like happiness and you give yourself that chance to, to get there and you will get there, but you got to jump off the ship because that stuff just doesn't get better. So as hard as it is, it's worse to stay. Um, okay, I'm going to go in. What do I want? Like, what am I feeling? Gold? It's kind of aggressive. But I want to do a euphoria look. I still have not started the show. And I really want to do it. Um, but I feel like even more so than a show at this point, the makeup is like a pop culture moment and that is honestly why I want to watch the show. Gold glitter. I ordered some of those little like jewel rhinestone things on Amazon. So I think I'm going to do probably on TikTok, maybe on here. If you guys want to see it, let me know. Okay. Hold please. Sip your coffee, your tea, your wine. Moment of silence for the wing. I don't care if a wing is trendy or not. It's kind of like leggings for me. Um, and honestly, high rise denim at this point in my life, like it's not going anywhere for me personally. And like, ooh, like we say in dips, shade number two, you do you. I've been playing with the mascaras lately. because so I was feeling like my lashes were getting clumpy. I was getting a little bored and unimpressed with the results recently I, I always go back to Lancome like they, I just think they do mascaras so so well I was really obsessed with the hourglass and then I felt like after like three weeks the mascara itself started getting dry like in the tube has anyone else look how randomly pale the hand is and then the arm is like faded into a splotchy tan we love that for me all right I like using a primer regardless because even if you don't need it for the length and the volume in your lashes, it still conditions them and it's good for them. So think about it as lash care. Mom confessions. I have been letting Kinsley sleep in my bed from time to time, maybe more than time to time. I will put her upstairs in her room and then I will come down Stairs or upstairs and carry her down and she's sleep trained she was sleep trained from a young age so I know all about it and I know don't come for me in the comments I know but I am divorced and I only get to see her every other week and damn it I like to cuddle her okay this is your I don't know how I feel about this you know the other mascara I've been into lately is Ilya but instead of waking me up upstairs screaming it's 
spiking my cortisol in the early morning. She just rolls over and she's like, I love you, mom. And I'm like, you know what? This is kind of a vibe, to be honest. Oh, why does that look so clumpy? Okay, we might be aborting this mission, honestly. I used to like this mascara. Uh, okay. Okay, weird. So I did curl them. I feel like I'm getting a lift, but like even more of a lift, but like a dense lift in, an, in like not a good way, you know? Like it's, it's feeling very clumpy. Like the lash isn't, or the, um, I don't even know if Ilya can fix this. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury maybe? Push up lashes. I feel like this brush is kind of spiky, almost like benefit one. That's eyeshadow. Okay. I'm gonna act quick or we may just be screwed. Let's see. Camera just randomly turned off. But what I was saying was the thing about testing makeup, I try to do first impressions for you guys. I test a lot of stuff. I let you know what's worth it, what's not worth it, all that. And in doing that, Sometimes you mess your makeup up for the whole day. So let me test it for you so you don't have to mess your makeup up the whole day. These lashes right now are not the main character. So can Ilya say, you know what I really need right now? Like a L'Oreal telescopic to separate. This is not it. Dior did me dirty, sadly. I've been liking a lot of their stuff lately, but that... I thought I used to like that mascara, but now that I'm thinking about it, I think it was like the dark navy one. Um, let me tell you guys what this is called. I never like to hate on products, but also if it's not good, I don't want you guys to do what I just did. Dior Show Iconic Overcurl. So yeah, I've been loving a lot of their products, but I don't know, this was not it for me. And let's do a little bottom lash. Not this. Um, other things I've been randomly obsessed with lately, press-on nails. And you know what? I don't think that you can get me back the nail salon to tell me otherwise. I love a pedicure. And I actually love a gel pedicure because I do feel like it just lasts so much longer and it stays shiny. But whereas like regular ones chip, I love a, a, a pedicure massage. Like the whole thing, give me a pedicure all day. I'll sit there and I can also still work and use my phone. But a manicure, like you just can't tell me that I can beat my $9 press on nails. I think they look better. And they are at home and it takes me 15 minutes instead of like a two hour excursion to the nail salon, which is honestly not relaxing. Like, is that an unpopular opinion or do you guys agree? I do not, I think a pedicure, but I do not think going to the nail salon and getting your nails done is relaxing. It kind of is anxiety inducing to me. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Dibs liner and Pretty Spicy. This is shade four, highly underrated shade. It's so good. Love wearing these with the definers. Obviously that's how I created them, but I'm just gonna keep it simple today and just go for pretty spicy. I wanna show you guys this color because I feel like it's super underrated and I think I can show it to you better. Solo dolo. Okay, so these are really designed to be liners and essentially lipsticks. So here's what you're gonna do. Fill it in and then real quick, press it together. And then you can go and perfect it. Once this sucker is on, it is not moving, period. I have been wearing this lip a lot or shade one or two liner. And then I'm just gonna top it with our gloss. And charm, which is the pink one. Such a good everyday lip. I think I just ate some of that. Luckily, it's vegan. Okay, that was the worst dad joke I've ever told. I think that's it. Finished look, fun, flirty little day tonight. I do need to go fix my lashes off camera. It's sometimes you win some and you lose some on testing new products, and this one was a fail for me. Okay. See you guys in my next one before I keep knocking more stuff over. Bye.